Remember, organizational policy and local, state, and federal regulations vary widely across the country. This training program cannot and is not intended to satisfy all rules governing the use of 15 passenger vans in all jurisdictions. Prior to operating your organization's 15 passenger van, consult and follow your organization's policies and or procedures and local, state and federal rules governing their use. This presentation will take about 45 minutes. Afterward, there will be an assessment to see if you have understood the material.
Arguably, the most critical issue surrounding the safe operation of 15 passenger vans is the issue of driver distraction. It's extremely easy to lose focus when the passengers in the vehicle are having a good time in the back. We've already established that even minor lapses in concentration can lead to accidents with catastrophic results. The driver needs to establish control in the vehicle and maintain constant focus when in transport. The leading cause of rollover accidents is the distracted driver. Ice and sludge on the road can wreak havoc on any vehicle. However, it is more severe with 50 passenger vans. Why? Because of the overall length of the vehicle, sludgy conditions can cause unusual drag. Keep this in mind when implement weather may be encountered. It's also important to determine if your organization's vans are rear wheel drive or not. If so, you'll want to distribute as much weight over the section directly over the rear axle. This is even more critical for the vehicle to not close over.
just as the wind can affect stability, your passenger's subtle movement inside the vehicle can also influence the ride of the van. You'll need to factor this in, especially when traveling on icy roads. In this photo, the red line indicates the center of gravity of the van when it is empty. When we add people and cargo, the center of gravity raises with the added weight as indicated by the blue dotted line. Let's look at an example of visual misperception. Say you were seated in the driver's seat. If you were to look over your shoulder and out the windows in the rear doors of the van, how far would you have to look before you would be able to see someone's feet resting on the pavement? 10 yards? 20 yards? You may be surprised to know that it is much more than that. In actuality, it's closer to 50 yards. Notice the cones off in the distance. These cones represent the point at which the driver can first see the roadway behind the van. And as you can see, it is quite a distance. Is it conceivable then to have a person, or another vehicle for that matter, behind the vehicle, and you, the driver, not even realize that they are there? You bet it's possible. This is what is meant by limited and misinterpreted visibility.
knows that if he passed your next car rear wheel drive, you should attempt to get as much weight as possible over the rear axle, especially when traveling on wet or icy road conditions.